Hey Scott, how you doing? Um, I wanted to take this time to answer the questions that you had about how your snake whip turned out. First of all, you asked what do I think of your whip? I think you did a fantastic job. Especially for this being your first whip, it cracks very well. I saw you cutting the cards. It's something I never tried, but I, you inspired me to try it. Um, the whip looks great, man. For your first whip, awesome job. Keep it up. And, you know, five whips from now, you'll be ready to sell your stuff, I would say. Fantastic job. Keep it up. Keep up the great work. It's great to see you, uh, you know, enjoying having a lot of fun with them uh, because they are a lot of fun. I love whips. I love doing target work, and they're just, they're just fun, you know. So uh, I want to just uh, take the time to answer your questions. The first question you had, let's see. Um, ah, yes, the stiffness um, when you use tape to finish your bellies that portion is a bit too stiff. Uh, different brands of electrical tape, uh, when you pull tightly and wrap tightly, some of them are stiffer than others. Um, I actually was having that problem too, but I would just, I took the slab and I rolled it out and rolled it out, I guess, to the point where the tape kind of gave up <laughs> and made it, you know, more flexible. But uh, I've actually switched over to nylon thread um, to to finish the bellies, to bind the bellies, for that reason. I wasn't liking how stiff um, the tape was. I don't think the tape that I was using was quite as stiff as the tape that you used, but still for that reason I wanted everything to be nice and smooth, so I would recommend for your next whip uh, actually using nylon thread, uh, like you would with the tape, but it's just thread. And that way it'll be more flexible and it won't be bulky and it, it'll flow better. Um, if you do decide to use electrical tape again, I know I said to wrap very tightly in the video, sorry about that. I didn't take into account how different brands are tighter than other, di uh, than other brands. So if you do use electrical tape again, don't wrap quite as tightly. I know I said opposite of that, but that's just the way it is. Sorry about that. Um, let's see here. Next question. Um, Oh, you were talking about, um, I actually have a whip here, this is a kangaroo hide whip, it's not nylon, but you were talking about how you wondered if it was okay if your whip flowed, if your whip was floppy, if it had a preferred direction of flow, and they do. Whips do absolutely have a preferred direction of flow. Uh, as you can see, this one, if I take it, it rolls down this way, Oop, caught it in the chair, if I take this whip, and roll it out. See how it just rolls down like that? That's the whip's downhill. Uh, I don't know if you know Anthony DeLong, just, but he actually explained that as well, um, how water flows downhill, and he actually talked about how whips have a preferred direction of flow, and they certainly do. If I were to take this whip and flip it upside down and try to do it this way, that's the whip's stiff side. So that's completely normal for your whip. Uh, no worries about that. Um, as you crack it, the stiff side will become more flexible, but the whip is always going to have that preferred, better flowing direction, I guess you could say, if that makes sense. And usually it's the top. The top is usually stiffer. When you plate it this way, I found that the plated position, when the whip droops like this, that's going to be its preferred direction of flow. So I hope that makes sense. Completely normal. Uh, no worries about that. Um, let's see. You ask the question, does the, tr um, the whip need to be very stiff? The plating, does the thong need to be stiff? Um, it does for longer whips, but for a whip this short, you want the whip to be very flexible. Um, it is very true, though, on longer whips, you do want the whip to be stiff. Not, not you know, not stiff in different places, but st uh, uh, an even stiffness all the way down. You know, decreasing every so uh, every so many inches down the whip. Um, but for a whip this short, it's so light that it you want it to be as flexible as possible, to a certain degree. Uh, any flexible, uh, sorry, any 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 stiffer in this a whip this short would just become not smooth. Uh, it'd become it wouldn't be as, as smooth as it could be. Um, but for like a six foot whip, you certainly would want there to be stiffness, especially in the transition to store up that kinetic energy to where you, when you crack the whip, it would be helping you along. 
maybe a sp the springiness of it. But for snake whips this short, I wouldn't worry about that. It would begin to defeat the purpose, actually. So that's my, my take on that. Some people might tell you something different, but in my experience, a three-foot whip, a snake whip, you want to be as flexible as possible. Um, let's see. How to care for whips. What do I tell people when they ask how to care for uh, whips? Well, for, I assume you, you mean nylon whips. I do make leather whips as well. For leather, obviously you don't want to crack them in the rain. Uh, keep them out of the sunlight. Um, with leather whips, you got to moisturize them. you got to put leather conditioner, but we're not talking about leather. We're talking about nylon. Um, you don't want to crack nylon whips uh, where there's sand. Uh, don't crack them on gravel. Uh, a whip three feet doesn't really apply, like it's not even reaching the ground. So, But for people who purchase longer whips from me, six, seven, eight, even nine to ten foot whips, I tell them don't crack your whip over concrete, uh, gravel, because uh, gravel and concrete will tear your whip up over time. Not right away, but if you keep doing it, it'll really tear it up and it'll beat it up and it'll fray the nylon uh, paracord. So that doesn't really apply to your whip because it's so short. Um, but for whip care, um, I just throw it in a drawer. Um, don't let your pet chew on it. That's pretty much the only threat to nylon. <laughs> Having uh, mice or uh, a dog maybe chew on it or something like that. But um, nylon whips are just absolutely low maintenance. You don't even have to do anything. Just uh, don't you know? Don't crack them. Uh, on concrete, if that even applies, because it's such a short whip. But if you were to make a longer one, don't crack them over sand, concrete, you know, crack them over the grass. As far as care during use. Uh, for cleaning, I recommend you take just a rag and uh, Windex. I found Windex works really great to take out grass stains. If your whip is dirty, um, you can soak them in water. You absolutely can do that. Not leather, uh, nylon. You can soak them in water, warm water, you can give the thing a bath, basically, you can stick it under your sink in uh, warm water and scrub it with a brush. You can treat it like clothing, really, because it's nylon, and it's not going to deteriorate or break down under water, like leather might, or wood. So, the last question you had was about the expansion that the BBs, ca that the BBs cause when you... Uh, put them in your nylon. Um, when you shot load the core, they do expand, causing shrinkage. And I didn't include that. I don't know why I didn't include that in my video. I'm sorry about that. But uh, yeah, it, it is going to cause there to be some shrinkage. I didn't think it would be that. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't say that in the video, actually. I should have said that. Uh, I should have warned people about that. But what I'll recommend for that is next time you make a whip, say you want to make a four foot nylon whip, or if you want to make another three foot snake whip, um, cut off a section of uh, 3.5 to 6 feet. Um, that way, then load the BBs into the paracord. And once you're done loading the BBs in, take a second measurement. That's the fine tuning measurement. Measure it, fine tune it once you've gotten all the BBs in. So that way, any shrinking that was going to take place has already happened. And then you have your precise measurement. So I think that's all the questions. If I missed anything, I'm sorry, let me know, and I will try to explain it the best I can. But uh, thank you, man, for taking the time to make this uh, video response um, about my design uh, for the Snake Whip. Um, thank you for saying thank you. A lot of people, they, they don't even you know, mention anything about it, but uh, it shows you care, and I, I really appreciate that. I take a lot of time to make these videos, so uh, thanks so much. Keep making whips, man. You're doing a great job. Um, five whips from now, I think you're going to be a pro, so uh, keep up the good work, and uh, let me know if you have any more questions. Look forward to seeing your uh, whips in the future. So keep on whip making, Scott, and take care, man.